Magandang umaga sa inyong lahat. Ako nga pala si Rin CMG na nanggaling sa Academic Strand na Humes or Humanities and Social Science. Ngunit hindi lamang ako may kita nyo ngayong araw dahil meron din tayong kamag-aral na galing sa Humes at pati na rin sa ABM. At nais namin ipahiwatig ngayong araw ang report namin. Ito ay patungkol or isa sa mga aquatic activities na meron tayo. Kung nakaraan, ang report natin ay snorkeling, ngayon naman ay scuba diving. Dito, malalaman natin ang importanteng impormasyon about sa scuba diving. So, dito, malalaman natin ang kalagahan at importanteng impormasyon tungkol sa scuba diving. Katulad lamang ng tamang equipments, gears, safety protocols, um, facts, history, at ang benefits nito. Hindi lamang tayo mag-diving ng basta-basta, di ba? So, syempre, kailangan din natin ng background about sa scuba diving. Dahil kung mag-dive lang tayo ng agad-agad, nang wala, nang wala tayong ni isang idea about sa diving, ay pwede tayong malunod or maaksidente. Pwede rin tayong mamatay, di ba? Kaya, safety comes first. So, ano nga ba ang scuba diving, di ba? Scuba diving is a type of underwater diving whereby divers use breathing equipment that is completely independent of a surface air supply. And scuba diving is an acronym for self-contained underwater breathing apparatus in order to breathe below the water surface. While divers usually carry oxygen-filled tanks on their backs while they swim. So, ayun na nga! Intro pa lang yun. Ready na ba kayo ma-experience ang ocean wonders at makakita ng ibang iba't ibang marine animals? Hmm, at malay nyo, makakita pa kayo ng mermaid kung suswertihin kayo, di ba? Kaya... Today is February 9, 2021. We are departing for the Senior High School Humanities and Accountancy Department. This is your flight person, John Paul Vitoris, your handsome cabin. Just sit back, relax, and buckle up because we will be learning in great heights. Enjoy your flight grade 12 once again. This is the Cosmopolitan Airlines, the best airline in town. Scuba diving is a sport that uh, had its humble beginnings in ancient times, in early Greece and Rome. Um, people used to swim or dive while holding their breath or by using uh, makeshift breathing apparatuses like hollow plants stems. This was commonly practiced during combat or while gathering food and uh, martial from marshals from the oceans. In um nine uh, thirteen hundreds, uh, the plan was to fetch air into the jar where the divers swim out um before he or she is out of breath to fill the bell again. Uh, a small cauldron in the shape bell was used. So, in 1960, the improved bell was developed by Edmund Halley. Um, two people inside pulled down the dive club with dropped air. Um, a smaller version of the diving bell on the head was used to help the diver get oxygen from his or her diving bell. Um, the diver often used the tube to catch more oxygen. And um, the air inside the larger uh, diving cup was filled up with a barrel from the top um, and the diver even pulled up this barrel and tugged the signal around it. And on 1750, um, the diving engine of a submarine oak cylinder which applied compressed air from the surface was designed by English guy um, John Lethbridge. On 1823, um, originally for firefighters, um, Charles Anthony Dian, Dean, or Dian, invented the smoke mask. The helmet was worn on the head of a man with a fitted a shaft uh, which provided um, ventilation from the surface. And on 1825, um, the first workable full-time scuba was invented by um, William James. It had a cylindrical strip along the uh, tubing trunk, which was used as a 450 psi air reservoir. 
Due to the excitement and curiosity of people in deep water, the invention of diving was feasible, which inspired inventors to find safe ways of moving deeper. The SCUBA is an acronym for Self-Contained Underwater Beating Apparatus or SCUBA. Diving in water SCUBA is a way for a diver to use a control unit, a breathing device, and a pneumatic tube to naturally breath underwater. Divers can navigate the seas with this equipment for a longer and more fun time. But modern divers are lucky enough to be able to go deep and remain underwater longer. The start of the dive is traced from the use of hole shafts as a means to remain underwater longer. More effective breathing methods were invented from the simple read. The following schedule describes the development of dive U.S. Navy Diving Manual 1993. It is called scuba diving because it is a type of underwater diving whereby divers use breathing set equipment that is completely independent of a surface air supply. The name SCUBA was coined by Christian J. Lambertsen in a patent submitted in 1952. Joe Costu and Emil Gagnon invented and made an open circuit diving breathing set. Using a demand regulator which Gagnon modified from a demand regulator used to let a petrol driven car run on a big bag of coal gas carried on its roof during warm shortages of petrol. Costo had his first dives with it. He made two or more aqua lungs. There were now three, one, one each for Costo and his first two diving companions, Frederick Dumas and Tylias. Nowadays, over a handful of things make up the essential list of scuba diving equipment, each designed and improved over and over again to keep both recreational and professional drivers safe and to help ensure efficient underwater operation. August Sibel, a born German and born for, who innovated a closed suit to complete the Jan's diving helmet. The complaint was attached to a surface air compressor and became the first traditional diving suit. August Sibel making in into a watertight air containing rubber suit. This closed suit attached to surface air became the first practical diving dress. 1843, the first diving school was established by the Royal Navy. Having persuaded the Royal Navy of the advantages of sea-based diving equipment over the unwieldy dockyard diving belt, Colonel Pasley detached Lance Corporal Jones Royal Engineers to HMS, HMS Excellent in 1844 to train a party of 13 petty officers and seamen in its use. A Royal Navy diving school was established at Whale Island, and RN diving became the responsibility of gunnery branch at HMS Excellent, while Army diving continued to be the responsibility of the Royal Engineers. Frenchmen Benoit Procarol and August Deniers invented the Air Force where the divers would carry an air compressed steel tank attached by a bulb to the mouthpiece. The tank was also equipped with a pump of fresh air from the surface. It eventually became the precursor of today's scuba gadget. Rockwell Roll and the Nairus apparatus invented by Bennett Rockwell Roll in 1860 for survival in flooded mines and adapted to diving in 1864, with the help of French Navy officer Auguste Denarius, was the first regulator to be mass produced from 1865 to 1965. Even though it was independent from the surface for a very short duration, the Rockwell Denarius apparatus reached worldwide celebrity after having been mentioned by Jules Verne in his adventure book of 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea. But Jules Verne wildly exaggerated its dive duration without external air supply. 
The iron received was suffered from a lack of autonomy because the technology of that time was not yet able to provide the reliable valves and pressure vessels when gases were highly compressed. That is why the Rockwell Rodenaros Reservoir in the 1860s was able to contain only 30 atmospheres of internal pressure, which translated into sufficient air to permit dives no longer than 30 minutes to a depth of no more than 10 meters. For a longer and more secure autonomy from the surface technology had to wait until the 20th century had brought stronger and reliable compressed air cylinders. 1876, the first self-contained diving gear which used pressing oxygen and not compressed air was invented by Henry A. Floss, an English merchant seaman. Carbon dioxide absorbed by a stream soaked in a sodium hydroxide will be taken in this prototype of flow circuit dip. Henry Floss was a diving engineer for Sibet. He is widely recognized as a pioneer in the field of diving, and some even credit him as the first scuba diver, though he is credited with many other inventions, including the plus vacuum pump and the steam car. It is widely accepted that his most important was for the self-contained breathing apparatus or scuba using pure compressed oxygen. Originally designed in 1876, he was granted a patent for the apparatus in 1878, which freed the diver from having to rely on breathing surface of light air. The apparatus consisted of a rubber mask, a breathing bag, copper tank to hold the oxygen, and a scrubber. The closed circuit system was designed to reuse the oxygen by removing the carbon dioxide using a rope yarn soaked in a solution of caustic potash. Originally used to rescue mine workers, Plus has loaded for this early scuba apparatus. 1943, in the life of the Brett, Jack Hostu and Emil Gagnon redesigned the car regulator, which gave compressed air to divers. This dive has transformed the diving world and is now what we know as the contemporary scuba. Emil Gagnon and Jock Costu together invented the modern demand regulator used in underwater diving. Their invention allowed for the equipment known as the aqualang or self-contained underwater breathing apparatus or scuba, enabling safer and deeper dives. Previously, divers were only able to explore the sea using diving wells or helmeted diving suits, which were cumbersome and expensive. Divers were also dependent on her hoses connected to a surface source. Cost 2 was searching for an underwater beating apparatus that would allow divers to enjoy unencumbered swimming. He teamed with Gagnon. Operation engineer working at Air Liquid who had created a bug for regulating gas to flow gas generator engines. Combining Gagnon's engineering expertise with Costa's practical experience, they created a demand bulb system that could provide a diver with compressed air on demand and that adjusted to the surrounding pressure. The Aqualung was introduced in 1946 and was available on the U.S. market in 1952. It provided safe and low-cost opportunities for scientists, engineers, and other water enthusiasts. Purposes of scuba diving Scuba diving can be a pleasure to see the sea environment when watching fish and other aquatic species while taking photographs and images of these sea species. It, co it can also be used for, protect for technical uses like cave diving and wreck diving. Cave diving is underwater diving in water-filled caves 
while wreck diving is, rec is a recreational diving where the wreckage of ships, aircraft, and other artificial structures are explored. It can be made for business purposes as well. Entrepreneurs can make the business like this to the people who want to explore and experience underwater world. It is undertaken to make living like builders of builders of underwater installations, do coastal repairs, carry out surveys, or engage in rescue activities. Another purpose of this scuba diving is to do submarine surveillance by military or highly skilled divers to clear mine, save or recover passengers on capsized passenger vessels and other sunken vehicles. Health and fitness for diving. Scuba diving does not require you to be an Olympic athlete, but health is an important issue. If you are considering diving for the first time, you should be in a good health, especially your heart and lungs. You should be able to swim and be comfortable in the water. We know there is no maximum age for scuba diving, and there is no particular age when you should stop diving. However, there are some considerations you need to know as an older diver. These things to consider will be depend on your health and mind, rather than your physical age. We do know that advancing years bring a natural physical decline, as well as slew of age-related health issues such as hardening of the arteries and pulmonary disease that can spell high risk for divers, generally speaking, however healthy, divers of any age can enjoy the sport safely. Disabilities and swimming skills. No about swimming. Swimming is the self-propulsion of a person taught water or other liquid usually for recre recreation, sports, exercise, or survival. Locomotion is achieved to coordinate movement of the limbs and body to achieve hydromatic thrust which result in directional motion. Humans can hold their breath underwater and undertake rudimentary locomotive swimming within weeks of birth as a sobrella response. Ang paglangoy ay palaging kabila sa mga bansa. Ang mga arali sa paglangoy ay isang salampilitang bahagi ng kurikulum na pang-edukasyon. As a formalized for swimming, features in a range of local and international competition including every modern summer olympics pangalawa punta naman tayo sa five the five basic swimming skills number one breathing this is a frequently overlooked basic skill but this is an important one if you are, if are not comfortable breathing while swimming you would be able to enjoy and completely and learn new things the basic idea is that you need to breathe out with both your nose and mouth when your head is underwater, pagkatapos ay kapag inangat mo ng iyong ulo to the ulo sa gilid, huminga ng buong buo before you putting your face back down. Number two, floating. Before you stop kicking and stroking, first learn to float in the water. Floating helps you to get used to habit of moving to water pa properly. Floating helps to keep your body on the surface on of the water. Ang ating katawan ay nakakaranas ng vertical buoyant force. Kapag inilubog sa tubig at ang lumulutang ay nakakatulong na panatiliin yung katawan sa in horizontal position. Floating is important. Kunwari, kung, kung hindi mo naman sinasadyang mahulo sa tubig, you'll be able to float on the, wat, on the surface till you are rescued. And now, keep listening to learn more about the 7 benefits of swimming for people with disabilities. Number 1 alleviates pressure on joints and muscle. Being in the water is akin to being weightless. The water easily supports your body and greatly reduces the effects of gravity. By allowing yourself to float in the water, you alleviate pain and stress on your joints and even your muscles. This is due to stretch and stretch parts of the body that don't often experience a full range of motion. Number 2. Build Muscle Strength being in the water makes the muscle easier to move and moving your muscle. You build strength. This is a great option when you are able to other types of exercise that work on your muscle strength. Para sa may mga taong may kapansanan tulad ng spina bipida o muscular, dystrophy, aerobic activity ay lalong mahirap. Ito ay dahil sa kanilang muscle ay matigas o maluwag. Number 3. Improves Heart Health 
As we mentioned, swimming is the considered an aerobic activity. Aerobic activities is strength your heart. As your heart becomes larger and is stronger, it's better able to pump blood, thereby increasing circulation. Swimming with a disability allows you to keep this cardiovascular benefits without putting interest on the body. Number 4. Improves mental health. When you exercise, your body releases endorphins and serotonin. These chemicals improve your mood. With regular exercise, those chemicals impact and everything this from depression to anxiety. You'll notice that your less stress, your memory function is better. You sleep better and you feel more relaxed and energetic throughout your day. Number 5. Impacts transfer skills. In order to swim, you have to get from your wheelchair to the pool and then from the pool back into your chair. By doing this on a regular basis, you improve your skill and performing transfer. Siyempre, if you're taking a swimming, dapat masiguro din na makahanap ng isang pool na design nyo para sa inyong mga pangangailangan. Sa isip pa sa kung ano pa. Look for pools na nakakatigo sa mga ADA guidelines. Halimbawa, Ang paglipat ng isang pool na hindi naman angkop sa taong may mga kapansanan ay pwedeng maaaring humantong sa pinsala. So, can a person die with a disability? Yes, with proper interaction and safe planning, diving may be a real possibility. The student must still complete skill set for proficiency and in some cases, a body or two may also require training but the disability program from scuba diving international and instructor to work in individuals who may have in disabilities. The truth of the matter is that if a medical doctor who understood the situation and is scuba diving approves, and if a student is mentally competent to understand teaching concepts, then the potential for diving is more likely there. Great for people with disabilities. For people with physical disabilities like multiple salaries, the water is a great way to exercise. There are many physical dis disabled athletes who love to swim in pools around the world, improving their facilities to make them visible. Our next topic is all about the basic scuba diving equipment. Ang aparatos na ginagamit para sa diving ay isang kapansin-pansin at nakikilalang katangian ng scuba diving. Ginagamit at tinadala ito ng mga diver na tumutulong sa kanila na gumugol ng mas maraming oras sa ilalim ng tubig. Ang basic ng mga pangangailangan ng bawat maninisit ay ang mga sugusunan. Number 1. Dive Mask Ang dive mask ay nagbibigay ng mas mahusin larawan ng buhay sa ilalim ng tubig na nagbibigay sa maninisid ng air pocket sa harap ng mga mata. Ang isang selyo ay nilikha sa mga mata at ilong na tumutulong o tumutulong sa maninisid na makakita ng mga bagay na mas malinaw at natural. Number 2 Snorkel tube. Ang snorkeling tube ay nagbibigay daan sa maninisid kapag nakaharap pababa ang ibabaw ng tubig upang lumanghap at huminga mula sa bibig. Number 3. Regulator. Pinapayagan ng regulator ang maninisid upang huminga sa ilalim ng tubig at manatili doon para sa mas mahabang panahon. Kapit kami itong gumagana sa tangke at nagbibigay ng gamit sa maninisid o sa oxygen habang siya ay humihinga. Number 4, Control Device BCD o Buyansi. Ang control device na BCD ay tumutulong sa pagkontrol sa tubig, lokasyon ng hanay, kung ang panloob ng pantog ay nagdaragdag ng oxygen. Ang isa ay babangon sa sahig, lumulubog ang isa sa pumagitan ng pagkuha ng hangin mula dito. Number 5, Octopus. Ang isang backup na controller ay octopus. Ito ay may mahabang manggas at makimtag na dilaw na katawan para madali itong mahanap ng maninisa at magamit sa panahon ng mga emergencies. Aking ipagpapatuloy ang basic scuba diving equipment. Isa na rito ang scuba mask ay isang item na diving equipment. Ito ay ginagamit ng mga manlalangoy sa ilalim ng dagat. Nagbibigay tulong ito upang mas makita ng malinaw ang tanawin sa ilalim ng dagat. And then, sa pamamagitan ng mask, ang lahat ay lilitaw ng mas malaki kesa sa aktual, kaya ito ay ginagamit ng mga manlalamoy. 
Pangalawa naman dito ang swimming teams. Ang swimming teams naman, ito ay sinusuot sa ating paa upang ma-improve your technique and performance. Nakakatulong din ito upang mapabilis yung bilis sa tubig. Tumutulong ito na mapauti ang ating postura at mapanitiling mataas ang ating mga balakang sa tubig. Pangatlo naman po natin dito, ang BCD ay isang mahalagang bahagi ng setup ng scuba diving. Dahil pinapayagan ka nitong kontrolin ang iyong buoyancy habang nasa ilalim ng tubig. Nangangahulugang na ito ay magagawa mong manatili sa isang tiyak na malalim na hindi kinakailangan ng pwersa sa pamamagitan ng pagsipa gamit ang iyong mga piliktik o yung pins. Uh, makakatulong din ito sa iyo upang makatipid ng enerhiya, gumamit ng mas kaunting hangin sa kumatwid ay pahabain ng iyong pagsisig. Susunod naman natin dito ang wetsuit ay karaniwang sinusuot ng mga manlalangoy, maninisid na lumalangoy sa malamig na tubig. Ang wetsuit ay isang ay nag installate sa mga manlalangoy o tinutulungan silang mapanitili ang init ng katawan. Ito naman ay tumutulong sa mga manlalangoy na maiwasan ang hypothermia, isang mapanganib ng pagbaba ng temperature sa ating katawan. Kaya ito ang ginagamit nila para maiwasan iyon. Bilang panghuli, isa pa sa pinakamahalagang equipment natin ang air cylinder. Dahil naglalaman ito ng air pressure na nagbibigay daan sa mga manlalangoy na makahinga sa ilalim ng tubig o dagat. Ang isda ay nabubuhay at nakakahinga sa tubig. Ngunit tayong mga tao nangangailangan pa tayo ng hangin para makahinga. Kaya isang malaking tulong ang air cylinder para tayo magtagal sa tubig. Our next topic is all about pre-dive and pre-dive safety check. Unahin muna natin ang pre-dive. Ang pre-dive diving ay isang bagong karanasan habang natutupaksan ng isang tao ang isang bagong universo na may tubig lamang ng uri ng mga hayop. Ngunit kung hindi susundin ang mga pag-iingat sa proteksyon, ito ay nagiging isang sakuna. Ang pre-dive na nagsasangkot ng mga protocol kung saan pumupunta ang iba't ibang tao. Ang kaligtasan at kahandaan ng mga kagamitan ay detalyado sa mga maninisin, ang mga pamamaraan at pamantayan at sunod-sunod na kailangan sa lahat ng aspeto ng pagbamasid sa ilalim ng tubig. Sunod naman natin ang pre-dive safety check. Bago pumunta sa dagat ang isang maninisin, kailangan magsagawa ng security check. Nangyayari ito kapag isinusuot ng diver ang kanyang kagamitan at tapos na ang kanyang mga kasama sa pagsisin. Mayroong huling minutong bangka na pagsusuri na ginagawa kaagad bago pumunta ang maninisid sa daungan. Tinitiyak nito ang maayos na operasyon ng lahat ng mga gears o mga kagamitan. Ang pagsusuri sa kaligtasan ay isinasagawa kasama ang dive bag bago ang biyahe. Ang bawat pagsusuri ng mga kagamitan ng bawat isa at nakikilala ang mga kagamitan ng kanilang dive body. Dapat alam ng bawat isa kung paano tumulong sa kanilang mga kasamahan sa ilalim ng tubig kung sakali mang may mangyaring emergency. These are the 5 steps of pre-drive safety check. Number 1. Test the Beyonce compensator to ensure the inflator and deflator buttons works and the pull strings are not a burden. Number 2. Verify the weights. The weights should be visible and have an unencumbered quick release mechanism. The weight belt should be positioned as the correct release and the belt end free. And the other gear should be removed so that it will quickly slip apart when it is opened. In the event of an emergency, all divers should be able to release weights. Number three, check the releases. Check the BCD clips are locked and make sure to tighten the belts. The BCD link to the scuba tank should also be checked for closure of the tank bun. It must be closed enough so that all the tanks enters the bun. It does not slip 
and cause a problem. Number four, the air regulator. The correct working of regulator is important. Check a tank valve multiple times as your mate watches the pressure gog needle. Vibrating from the tank valve regulator for your valve until the needle of the pressure gog falls dramatically. The tank valve is open till 3000 PSI or 200 bar. The tank must be packed. Confirm that the controller beats smoothly and safely. Talk to your mate about your location of alternative air supply and verify it several times by breathing. Number five, final check. This is the final check at which all the gears are cross-checked. Sa underwater diving, ang ascending at descending ay ginagawa gamit ang mga mahigpit na mga protocol. Upang maiwasan ang mga problema na dulot ng mga pagbabago sa ambient pressure. At ang mga panganib na mga hadlang na malapit sa ibabaw, katulad ng mga banggaan ng mga sasakyang pangdagat. Ang mga organisasyon ng sertifikasyon at akreditasyon ng maninisid ay nagbibigay ng kahalagahan sa mga protokol na ito ng maaga sa kanilang mga programa sa pagsasanay sa mga maninisid. Ang mga pamamaraan ay nag-iiba depende kung sa ang maninisid ay gumagamit ng scuba o surface supplied equipment. Kinokontrol ng mga scuba diver ang kanilang sariling descent at ascent rate. Habang ang mga surface supplied diver ay maaaring kontrolin ang sarili nilang pag-akyat at pagbaba o ibababa at iaangat ng kanilang surface team. Alinman sa pamamagitan ng kanilang pusod o sa isang diving stage o sa isang diving belt. So let's move on how scuba divers talk or communicate with each other underwater. Have you ever tried talking to your friends underwater? If so, then you discovered that it didn't work very well. Even though sounds travels well underwater, our vocal cords are not designed to generate sounds underwater. So how then scuba divers communicate to each other under the water? Scuba divers are trained to use hand signals to communicate with their bodies. They also use underwater writing boards for better communication. Both of these techniques require light. Hi, I am Yukarine B. Gomez and I will be discussing about the positive impact of diving on our health. We all know that scuba diving and snorkeling are very relaxing and enjoyable hobbies. But did you ever think that it was good for our health as well? As divers, we don't hear about the benefits of diving as much as the dangers that scuba diving presents. Does diving actually enhance your well-being? Of course it does. And in a variety of ways, not only is it good for our bodies, it is also builds our mental health and emotional health. Here are the example benefits of scuba diving. First, we have improving our aerobic fitness. One of the most obvious health benefits of scuba diving is the workup of it provides. Swimming is one of the best forms of aerobic exercise which is crucial to one's overall health. It also increases muscle strength. In addition to providing a quality aerobic workout, scuba diving is also good as an aerobic exercise. It also improves blood circulation, lower blood pressure. And lastly, as I said, Scuba diving also enhances a person's well-being because scuba diving has been shown to produce significant stress relieving effects which are largely a result of breathing techniques employed while on a dive. While scuba diving once most employ slow, deep breathing techniques in order to conserve and optimize air consumption, such as breathing patterns are similar to the ones used in meditations, and which are also known as reduce one's heart rate prom and promote the feeling of calmness. In addition to the breathing patterns used in scuba diving, the tranquil underwater environment that you're immersed in is also beneficial for promoting calmness and reducing stress. And that will be all. Thank you.